Hi kids, welcome to the 12 Books Until Christmas series, where we will read a book every day until Christmas. Today's book is called A Night of Great Joy by Mary Engelbert. A Night of Great Joy The world was silent and most everyone was fast asleep. What seemed like an ordinary night, with the moon and the stars shining brightly overhead, would become a night like no other. A woman named Mary was traveling with her husband Joseph and arrived in Bethlehem late one evening. Mary was pregnant and they needed a place to rest for the night. They stopped at every inn they found looking for a place to stay, but at every door they came to, the innkeepers just shook their head and said they had no room. Then a man offered shelter to Mary and Joseph. Looks like she needs a place to rest, the innkeeper said. All I have is my stable. It's not much, but at least it's warm and dry. Finally, they had a place to rest. Although it was only a stable for oxen, cattle, and donkeys, it was just right. Joseph helped Mary down from the donkey. With great relief, she lay on a bed of straw. That night, Mary gave birth to, the, to God's only son. He cries in the night, echoed through the quiet streets of Bethlehem. Hello, Jesus, Mary whispered as she looked down at her precious baby boy. Then she gently laid him upon the straw in a wooden manger. Mary and Joseph felt blessed that God has chosen them to care for this special baby. The animals gathered close in awe of God's great gift. Not far away, there were shepherds caring for their sheep on a hillside. Suddenly, a bright light shone, and an angel appeared before them. Don't be afraid, said the angel. God has sent me to tell you the greatest news. See the angel right here? This very night, a savior is born in the city of David. The, then the night burst into brilliant light and beautiful sounds as hundreds of angels fill the sky. Glory to God, they sang, peace on earth and goodwill to all mankind. Far off in the east, three wise men saw a brilliant star and knew it would lead them to the newborn king. The wise men traveled to Bethlehem with precious gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, gifts fit for a king. All those gathered under that bright star were filled with joy and knelt down to worship the child. At last, the Savior of the world had come. 
the end. What a beautiful story. Thank you so much for watch reading this book with me. I hope you come back tomorrow for another book. Bye!